I play on laptop, so this isn't going to be the highest quality. But I'm going to make a tutorial in case I can help anybody out there. This is going to be like 40 through 50 frames, so I hope it's not too bad for anybody who's watching. This is going to be how to dribble. And lots of people don't know how to dribble very well. That's going to be what we're going to start off doing. It's just dribbling straight into the goal from here. And something that you want to do when you dribble, stop looking at the ball. Look at that little circle on the ground. Because it applies more when you start turning and stuff. But looking at the circle gives you a better indicator of where to be on the ball, like cutting into the exact middle of the side of the circle will allow you to pick up the ball. And that's why it's important to be able to look at the circle rather than the ball. The only time I suggest looking at the ball that I do is when I flick, I look at the ball because then it allows me to aim my flick better and get better positioning. But when you're dribbling the ball around, turning left and right, trying to juke people, whatever you're trying to do, looking at the circle really helps you. Because if I look at the ball and I go to turn it, I drop it. Every time. But if instead... Dropped it. Messed up my catch. If instead, I look at the ball when I go to turn it, I normally don't drop it. And it allows me to make plays allows me to have more control with the ball. Another thing is matching the speed of the ball. But to do that, I suggest just taking the ball, stopping it somewhere, then just hit it and follow right next to it. Start slow, because a lot of your dribbles when you start out are going to be slow. Then do it faster. Stay alongside the ball. You don't want to speed up past it like I just did. I'm not the perfect dribbler, but I feel like I am good enough that maybe I can explain some stuff that might help out somebody who's trying to learn. Another thing about dribbling is that you want to have forward momentum. If I don't have any forward momentum, I'm going to be stuck turning into the ball over and over, and that's going to be bad. I'm not going to be able to take that dribble anywhere. But if I get that forward momentum started, then I can take it and turn it in to the goal. That's the next thing I suggest doing, is what I just did. Take it towards the mid boost, then just turn it into the goal. Because you want to learn to be able to aim where you're dribbling, where you're not just dribbling and hoping that you reach where you're trying to go. Because it's not something that's up to luck. Or something that, you know, is just whether or not you get it, or RNG or anything like that. Something that you can control. Whoops. And learning to control it is going to help you a lot. Because dribbling is very good for taking possession of the ball. And being able to shoot the ball. Like, dribbling here, I could have either front flip flicked it and it would have gone high mid. I could do that and flick it to the side. I have a lot of options. So based off of where the defenders are at, having more choices allows me to outplay more people. You can just pop it over somebody if they come to rush you. That's honestly one of the best things you can do. If you're dribbling in the midfield, just give it a quick pop, get it over somebody, and then leave. Because that went off the back. Either the goalie is going to come out and get it, or my teammate. It's going to come out and get it. Another thing you want to avoid is that if you keep catching it on the back of your car, even if it stays on top of you, I'm a sitting duck for a long time. Literally anybody could challenge me and beat me. But you want to try to catch it on the front windshield of your car. Because that gets it in the perfect position to flick, and it gets it in the perfect position to be able to control it. Because when it's on the front windshield, I can turn it either way. I can do a myriad of flicks just by adjusting the ball very slightly. You have a lot of options. And that's why dribbling is super cool. It's because you always have options. Say somebody pre-jumps you. 
can just drop the bomb. If they come to tackle you and they're expecting the flick, you just drop the ball off your car, they go flying over it, and you're good. And even if they do hit the ball, I stayed behind the ball. So even if they did hit it, I would get a favorable 50-50 that wouldn't just go back into my corner or something. You don't have to do nutty flicks to be a good dribbler. You don't have to really do anything. To be a good dribbler, you're going to want to worry about consistency. How often do you dribble? Can you get it on net? Can you get it at least off the backboard where it'd be good in twos? Or in the goal, that it'd be good in ones? And that was actually nutty. Very surprised that that went in. I thought that was going to be off for sure. But yeah. Uh, I don't suggest using ball cam. Because if we dribble with ball cam, when it gets in the middle of our car, your camera does this thing. And that is really disorienting to deal with. Best way to dribble is just take that soft touch and pick it up into a dribble. That's all it takes. It's a little soft rolling touch. A bouncing touch is easier to catch, but even a rolling touch, just go on the side of the ball to where it's rolling. Like if it's rolling that way, I want to be on this side of the circle. Because then when I turn into it, I can pick it up. Um, you don't really have to worry about power sliding when you dribble when you're starting off. As you get better, you probably will want to. Because it allows you to get those fast little pops like that. Like that was a little bit of power slide right now. And it makes it so it pops off my car. It can be good for getting quick cuts. Uh, you can do more nutty things with power slide. I messed up the flick. But, uh, yeah. The only thing you're really going to want to worry about power sliding for is cutting into the ball. Because oh. power sliding cutting into the ball allows you to change the direction a lot quicker. I messed up the first time. Uh, the reason why I messed up the first time is because I held the power slide for too long. Which is just something that you're going to have to do over and over and learn to feel. I really like doing the backflip flicks where you turn and flick. Because you can either make them go really high by putting them on like the exact center of your car. Or you can make them go really fast by putting them on your front windshield. And yeah, that's about it for dribbling. Use it to take possession, to shoot, to pass. It's probably the most versatile single skill that you can learn. It's really good for setting up ceiling shots and stuff, too. So yeah, uh, that's about it. I hope you could learn something from this video. Uh, I might make another one going over all of the different flicks. And yeah, see you.